Okay, gonna try to do a quick tips on Palisades wall tiles, all right? This is kind of a tough situation where you're boxed in here and you're trying to get these tiles in, but they interlock, so there's not a lot of room to, you know, you can't be sliding tiles in and out just because you're constrained with, you know, this wall or, or you know, this cabinet here, this cabinet here, top, bottom. So uh, what I ended up doing was dry fitting about as much as I could. This is glued, this is glued, this is still not glued. This is also glued. So everything else I tried to dry fit. Um, I've got this um, edge in, I've got this edge in, this edge I left out, and I have it cut though. Everything else is cut. So this piece is cut and I know it's correct because I also cut this piece, right? If you've ever done any edging, um, molding of any kind, you know you, you can't just cut one edge and feel good about it. You've got to cut the other edge and to know that that's good, you got to cut this edge, okay? So you got to move at least a couple pieces down the line to make sure that you're good. So I've cut, pre-cut this, pre-cut this, pre-cut, sorry, trying to get the camera angle right, pre-cut this. Then pre-cut this tile piece. as well as this tile piece. And I dry fit it all in place. So I'm going to put this one in, glue it in. I'm going to then glue this one in by sliding it over. Then what I'm going to do is snake this piece up into, oh, I'm going to have to glue this one down first too, snake this piece up into here like this once everything's glued in. From there we move to um, putting this um, piece in here, this edging, and then move down. But anyway, the, the, you know, the tough spot is, is this one here. So uh, let me try and get that done. And the problem is I wasn't expecting to be um, taping any of this today or putting any of this on video. So I don't have a stand or anything to show you actually, show me actually doing this. Oh. Other tips, get yourself some of these gloves, you know, with a rubber grippy end. I think I got these from uh, Harbor Freight or something. They're real cheap and it does allow you to, you know, grip these pieces and slide them around. The other thing you can do, you know, get something like this so that you can get in the edges and kind of pry the pieces to to get them to move around a little bit if you can't you know if you can't physically move it it's it's tough when you've got adhesive down you're pushing into the wall and you're trying to the push left or right because you know you're fighting the adhesive i use this for cutting the angles on on the j trim i use on the floor here i've got pieces of tile that I use. I, this is actually a, well, except this piece, this chunk got broken out of it here, but this is actually a good tile. I just flip it over and use it to cut on. And um, then after cutting a few times and I throw it up on the wall, I don't want to cut too much on it, but it's really not that big of a deal if you mar the back of it up. I've got this done here. I didn't use, you can see I did 
the edging here. I tried to round this. Um, I have the angle right. I tried to round this a little bit. Not so great. And here's another thing I did. So for all of this, including the edging, you know, they tell you to put the edging in first. I put all of this together. I dry fit all of this and then glued it in. Just one big piece. Um, I maybe should have used a corner piece down here, but I wasn't going to use any corner pieces. I was going to use just caulk. And then when I saw that the, the gaps were too big and it was just kind of, it was too difficult to cut this stuff. I don't have my good saws here. This isn't my house. Well, it is actually my house, but I, it's not where I keep my tools and everything. It, it's difficult to make perfectly nice straight cuts here. And the walls aren't perfect and everything else. And I thought the caulk was just going to be too big. So um, I just use an edge piece here or a J trim here. And that should be pretty good. And then also I wasn't going to use any J trim underneath the cabinets, but... I decided also again by using the J trim you're able to just kind of cut these things more quickly. I'm using a jigsaw right now to make quicker cuts um, that aren't perfect and the J trim allows you you know a lot of a lot of error. I did buy corner pieces for this corner over here but I'm not even sure I'm going to use it at this point. I might just use the J trim. This stuff's expensive. Um, I was able to get it at Menards here, but it's still, you know, uh, just one by one at a time. They have it in the store in stock, which is really nice. But they're still like $35 a piece. You know, that, that's expensive. And I bought a couple more of these J trim, and I still don't know if I'm going to have enough. And then underneath the microwave, I'm going to, you know, like, J trim around here and it also the cutting this the trim down it, it takes a lot of time but anyway this was my big tip here or just to show you how to do it because it that that's not easy let me glue everything in and if if my instructions change at all i'll i'll let you know i am going to put some adhesive down behind here first on the wall but it's probably going to get kind of shoved you know the adhesive is kind of going to get going to kind of get shoved around but this piece really isn't you know once you glue down the uh, the tiles this piece isn't it's not really going to go anywhere you know there's nowhere to, for it to go this other piece down here is going to be holding it in and that so um, I wouldn't worry too much about gluing everything down perfectly okay I'm starting to glue this another tip um, I've got glue behind here everywhere obviously so I'm, I'm putting this in I'm going to slide it before you start pushing the whole thing down, push the edges in where you have to slide them into the other one. Push those in first, then slide it over, okay? It's going to slide over a lot easier because you haven't pushed the whole thing down yet. Once you push the whole thing down, it's going to be a lot harder to slide. Oh, um, another thing. If you look, this edge, I cut it up here so that, that I'm going to be able to slide that J-channel in a lot easier. Um, I want to leave as much of this as I can for the next piece, but for here, obviously, it, it doesn't matter. So that's part of, the, part of the tip. Okay, for this piece, I cut the edging off here and pushed it all the way up into this into this J channel as much as I could so that I have room here to push this back. Slide it over as far as I can into this J channel and then push this all the way in here. <laughs> it's real fun with a camera. It's hard enough without it. Oh, with two hands. All right, I'm going to try to slide this over now. I've got this thing. It's for laminate flooring. All right, so I, I can barely do this with two hands, so i got to let go of this camera. 
I'm gonna pop this over and then uh, bring them both down. All right, I think I've got it pretty much where I need it. So using this, I was able to pull it over, lock it in, but then it was pushed all the way into there. Here's something else I realized. I was able to, what, it's difficult to put both hands on here and slide, but what I was able to do, I found a, another little tip. I planted one hand down and then I was able to just use my other hand and pull on that hand. And you're able to move the tile easier than putting both hands on the tile and trying to move it. So uh, let me see if I can, I haven't completely locked these tiles into place yet, although I have just pushed on a lot. I need two hands. Hold on. Okay. I was able to actually use this and kind of push it in here and here, push it in, push it up here with this. Um, these gloves are also very good because these points get really sharp. And uh, with your, I've already put like two holes in my fingers when, when I wasn't wearing gloves. And. Uh, Right now I'm locking this into place, so I was going to put some adhesive back there, but I, I kind of forgot I shoot, <laughs> shooting this video. But I don't, I, I really don't think that thing's going anywhere. Okay, uh, the rest of this I don't think is is bad. You know, it's just a matter of putting J channels in and sliding tiles around. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Okay, so I wanted to give another tight spot tip, uh, something that I... Probably could have done better, but um, I think I I would do it better the next time. But here, let me show you what, what I'm talking about here. So this is another uh, this is another spot where you kind of get uh, trapped in because I've got this edge here, the edge here, and these two pieces uh, need to go in. I thought before and uh, maybe uh, maybe this would have worked out if I had just kind of put these two pieces together and then fit everything in that way um, I may have been able to do this but I didn't instead I glued uh, this this and this all together and then I was kind of stuck trying to uh, jam this piece into this corner and what I ended up doing is I do have a stand here today let's say this is the piece Um, I did end up cutting this tongue off of the bottom here in order to to help get it in there better to so I didn't have to go up and in because you you can't you can only go in one side at a time really with with this kind of room because um you know as you know the piece is bigger than than, <laughs> than the opening you're given here so and it, it's really not that big of a deal especially when you're dealing with a with a corner. And probably what I should have done even is is cut this um, edge off too, because especially with a small piece in the corner, you're gluing everything down. As long as this edge is glued and these edges are glued, uh, the piece is really not going anywhere. So I wouldn't get too worried, too concerned about uh, cutting both of these edges off. And uh, again, I just cut this bottom one off, uh, this bottom tongue. And it was really hard to get it in there, and I ended up trying to pry this up, you know, here. But th there's not a lot of flexibility in this, and it, it felt like it was going to break. I did pry it up, however, as much as I could, and uh, obviously I was able to get the piece in there. But don't don't be too worried about cutting these uh, tongue and grooves out of there, uh, especially for a backsplash application. Now for a shower application, I might be a little more worried about that um, in that case. But you know, you would have to you would have to seal that up a little bit better because that, that tongue and groove acts as a you know a good water you know water repellent also. Anyway that's it for these tight spot tips. Um, hope it helps.